Whereby versus Zoom. Zoom versus Whereby. If you're researching video conferencing software, this video is for you because I'm gonna tell you about two really great options and why you should consider each one. And they are Zoom and Whereby. You've definitely heard about Zoom because in 2020, after COVID really hit and everybody moved everything online from online learning, all the work happening virtually, everything pretty much moved to Zoom and their stock soared. So they're definitely the entrenched, most dominant option when it comes to video conferencing online. But why would you consider something called Whereby, which I think has a lot of great things going for it? Well, watch the rest of the video to find out. I'm Natalie Lucier, founder of Access Ally, which is the most flexible way for you to sell and elegantly deliver digital offerings as your business grows online, like online courses and memberships. And this does tie into today's topic because a lot of times in your online courses or memberships, you wanna do live coaching calls or facilitate your coaching and teaching live. So what software should you use to do that? Well, let's talk about Zoom and let's talk about Whereby and let's first go over the pricing because I think a lot of times Sometimes people think, okay, I really just want the cheapest option and that will really come down to what your feature requests are. So first of all, both have a free plan and that's awesome because you can get started with both of these options for free to really test them out and make sure they're going to work for you. So that's really awesome. Then we come into the pro plans. So Whereby's pro plan comes out to about $85 per year US as of recording this video. And for Zoom's plan, it comes out to about 150 50 US per year for their pro plan. Now you'll want to take a look at what changed and what's different in each of their pro plans, but just keep in mind that a lot of times the features that you'll really want will be in the pro plan. So it does really help to figure that out before you choose. Speaking of which, what are you going to be using your video conferencing software for? Are you going to be doing sales calls or presentations? Are you going to be doing coaching calls with one person or multiple people? Is it more for team and virtual connections with other people in your company? Or is it something where you're going to be teaching live and you want to have students ask questions and things like that? You might also want to break people out into subgroups and sub rooms. So that's really important to know ahead of time too. Let's take a look at what these two options have in common. So first of all, you can do video and voice conferencing in both of these. You can also share your screen, which is really helpful in so many scenarios. A lot of times it's just a picture is worth a thousand words. So being able to show your screen, point at something and make sure you're on the same page with someone makes a huge difference. And with both options, you can also have written chat and you can also record your sessions. Now let's go over the differences between these two options. So the first and most important difference I would say is that Zoom is an app that somebody needs to download and install, whether that's on their computer or their phone or their tablet. So they do need to download and install something before they can join a Zoom conference or a Zoom room. So that's a really big difference because Whereby is completely web-based, which means you just go to a link and then you're immediately invited into the room and you're able to participate without downloading anything additional. Now, what does that mean for you as the person choosing your software? Well, it really comes down to who's going to be joining your room. So if you have people who are very tech savvy, who join Zoom meetings all day anyways, then it's gonna be super easy for them to just click your Zoom link and already have Zoom installed and join immediately. On the other hand, if you have people who are going to be joining your conference or your video call, who are a little bit less tech savvy, maybe who have never joined a Zoom room, before, then using whereby is way easier and has a lot less tech challenge for people who might not know how to join. So all they really have to do is click a link and they're immediately able to join. And if they have issues, they could even chat. If their video or their audio isn't working, they can at least get in touch with you live and you don't have to, you know, try to send emails back and forth and try to help them try to install software. So that's a really big plus if your audience or the people who are joining you in your courses or memberships are a little bit less tech savvy, then whereby definitely comes out a winner. Let's talk about integration. Integrations. So Whereby has integrations with Google Calendar and a couple of other great integrations built in as well. Now Zoom being the main contender that most people use does have a lot more integrations and they have all kinds of add-ons and things that you can also purchase additionally. So things like doing whiteboarding and other cool stuff that you might not think about can really be done easily with Zoom with either paid or free add-ons. And there's also a ton of developers developing add-ons 
for Zoom in a marketplace. And one of the things that we personally use on our team is we will do games using Zoom. So you can install a number of different games inside of Zoom and they become an app that you can turn on within Zoom. And so everyone can participate in say an icebreaker game or a trivia game. And that's the kind of thing that can really set Zoom apart. And again, it really comes down to your use case. If you're using Zoom in a team setting, which I think is what it's really designed for, you're really going to benefit a lot from these add-ons and these different types of things that you can get in the Zoom marketplace. And you will probably need to have a pro account or pay some money for these add-ons as well. So whereby it doesn't have any built-in games or anything like that, it is really designed to do one thing and one thing well, which is video conferencing. Now it does have another advantage though, and this is probably the biggest differentiator for whereby that I think Zoom will never be able to meet, at least in the current iteration. And that is that you can embed a whereby room into your course or membership website or any website. So what that means is you could have somebody who is on your website, maybe they're watching a training, maybe now it's time to go into the live session and they just click a link in your membership site and boom, the room is right there for them to start connecting and join. And so they don't need to, again, download anything else. They're immediately in the room and it really kind of goes in with your branding and everything. And so if you do upgrade to the paid versions, then Whereby's branding will be hidden. But if you're just using the free version, the Whereby branding will be obvious. But again, Zoom has branding all over their accounts, even on the paid plan. So I don't think that is the biggest issue for most people. And just having this great user experience is worthwhile for so many reasons. Again, going back to having people be able to just access your, your live session without having to figure anything else out. Um, that's just super powerful and awesome. So I highly recommend Whereby if you are doing this for live courses or coaching in a group program or anything else that you want to embed on your own website. It makes such a huge difference and just has that extra professional level built in. Another thing that I really like about Whereby is their branding. It's really fun and and really kind of informal. So when you want to join a room, you actually knock on the room as opposed to just hitting the join button. And so someone will let you in when it's time for the session to start. So those are the kinds of little touches that I think go a long way and just make you feel like, yes, this is a company I want to work with, I want to support. And that kind of jives with my vibe. There are all kinds of other small little differences between the two. So for example, you can do backgrounds and you can do um, all kinds of cool effects to the actual video part when you're joining a session. And you can do different things in both of these options, Zoom and Whereby offer those types of options. And Zoom probably has a couple more just because you know people have been working on those a little bit longer and they're kind of the, the big player in the space. But again, I feel like these are the types of things that you can add on over time and that Whereby will continue to push the envelope on as well. So if you're looking for a more affordable option or something that you can embed in your course or membership website, then I highly recommend Whereby. I think it is an amazing platform and uh, it's just so cool. You get a link and you can embed it, you can just share it. It's completely seamless. And I think that's what Whereby really has going for it. Now, Zoom is again, the big the big player and it is something that most companies are familiar with. And if you are doing business to business type things, then most people are probably familiar, already have it installed. And you can do cool things like games and other whiteboarding and add-ons and things like that. So definitely worth considering if you're more in that B2B space. So that's my take on Whereby versus Zoom. And now it's time for you to find out about Webflow versus WordPress. So watch that video now to see which of these two website builders you should be considering in the future.